What is up, guys? If it's Blake. All right. So, as you can see, we've got all kinds of pretty birthday decorations. So, <laughs> or yeah, yeah, birthday decorations. It's the New Year decorations. Um. All right. So what's going on is the quests are alive, where you get a pack for each one. Um. It's been a little crazy at work lately. Um, sea of Thieves came out a few days ago. It's been having some issues. Far Cry 5 came out last night, and work has been nuts. <laughs> so I'm off a little bit late, and I have a little bit over an hour to get one of these quests done so I can not miss the next one. So we're going to go for the two or less that's already started because we're playing Zoo. I was, like, super close to just playing it, getting the quest done, but then I was like, no. <laughs> I said that every game was going to be documented. Or every rank the game, at least. I did complete um, a warrior card quest <clears throat> in casual yesterday, because... It's not, <laughs> I don't think it would be very good for a video. I just threw 30 warrior cards into a deck and just played them. And <laughs> uh, I got the gold and, and left the game. <clears throat> so that's what was going on there. But any game that I like actually play is going to be documented either on stream or on video. It's hard to record every game, but. Some of them will be streamed for sure. So we're going to get this quest done. I figured since we're going to be doing that, we may as well play ranked. Um, I think I'll do this. Oh, this is also our first game with the new Kaliseth deck. We probably need to tune it a little bit more, but we got it going for now. We'll see how it does. Okay. Um. How much damage can we take? I guess we will find out. We don't have... The homunculus in the deck anymore, so we're taking... Uh, well, that's interesting. That That's something that I didn't expect. So this needs to die. This mage needs to die very quickly. <laughs> but yeah, homunculus isn't in the deck, so we should be taking a little less damage. And like I said, with, uh, with Cobalt Librarian... And Flame Imp in the deck alone. <clears throat> it could be worth it. See, we'll do this. It could be worth it to put in the the spell stones, but I'm not I'm not sure about that yet. I don't know how spell stones really work in Zoo. Um, alright, so I think we'll silence this guy. I think we will do this. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. I think that's best, because we get to get rid of the taunt and not make his Cthulhu go crazy. So, I'm thinking that's probably the best play. And plus, we can soul fire it and help get rid of it, which works pretty well. I wonder what Cthulhu Mage is playing right now. Oh, let's scare him, Gulpist. Um, we probably just do this. Trade that guy off. I think that could be wrong. I don't want to leave the seven six up. I 
there's a flame strike. So we'll start kind of filling the board back up here. So we're getting pretty close to drawing Doomguard and just killing her. Again, we won't take a whole lot more before Doomguard can just stop Cthune. Okay. Alright, so that we probably leave up. Um, let's see. We're kind of running out of gas. I That's a nice Sarah. <laughs> That's a little unexpected. I think we're okay though. <clears throat> Alright, that helps. So it depends on how big Cthune is. It depends on if they have Cthune in hand. Because there's a whole lot of ways that if she plays Cthune, she dies. <clears throat> Are you my master? All right, so no Cthune. That's good. So if we have anything stick, we win. If we draw Doomguard, we also win. So I don't think... It doesn't look like she's going to be able to stop it. Fireball technically does, but... But not really. Because we're holding soul fire. Alright. Boom. <laughs> you got to draw Cthune in Cthune Mage. Surprisingly. Alright, how close are we? We don't have that many minions that cost two or less. Let's take a look at the deck again. See if there's any good changes we can make. So we kind of added some more one drops with the Firefly. Because we had to take a couple two drops out. Put in Fungal Enchanter. Then we have Fungal Mancer. I'm not seeing a lot of Dragon Priests this low on the ladder. So for right now... I'm not teching in Dragon Slayers. I don't really see a reason to just yet. Now, nah, it, it could be necessary at some point. But it's not yet. I'm going to try to do get this in the next couple games. We may have to just make like an all one and two drop deck <laughs> and jump into casual. It just kind of depends. Um, uh oh. <laughs> so, what I'll probably do is coin out the double one drops. Oh, uh, that's Malkazar. <laughs> Man, late night, the things we're running into. But anyway, I'll probably coin out. The double one drops. I would like to try to make it look kind of scary and force some removal. So maybe our Flappy Bird sticks. Having two is useful. But 
because when we play the one this next turn, we may have one stick next turn. Or the turn after. We have yet to draw Kalaseth. But that's um that's how Kalaseth decks work. <laughs> Sometimes you don't draw in. But Zoo is one of those classes that, you know, when, when it's good, it's good enough without drawing him. <clears throat> right, so that Flappy Bird goes down, but that that's okay. We have another one. And honestly, if we can get two swaps out this early, in a way that's good, in some ways it sucks. If we get cleared that bad early on, that's that's really hard to deal with. Ugh. So, that obviously sucks. But, there's no more swaps. And that's good. So we can just kind of vo keep vomiting out onto the board. He's probably playing Iron Bark. That's not Iron Bark. <laughs> What's he drawing for, I wonder? Um, I'm not ready to Doom Guard yet. We can play this, though. Hey, I don't want to trade the 2-1. We don't have any more swaps to deal with. <clears throat> so I'm not, like, terribly worried about that. Um... He could have ultimate. I don't know. With with these kind of lower rank decks that are clearly somewhat budget oriented, it's kind of hard to tell what they're going to be running. All right, so that guy gets a silence. We'll draw. All right, so we we have a an okay board for spreading plague. We have Dreadlord to help clean it up. <laughs> I mean, plague obviously would suck to happen here, but we're able to to clean it up pretty well, I think. Is it Jade? Oh, the Wombo combo. Um. Alright, so we make that trade. I think we tap. We had lethal. Do we still have lethal? We do. <laughs> Almost messed that one up. That would have been embarrassing. Rank 21. What? I don't think he had enough jade cards. <laughs> There wasn't a whole lot being played there. Maybe he was missing Jade Otto. I don't know. Jade Otto wouldn't have won that game, but... <clears throat> Definitely wasn't enough going on. I think if you're if you're trying to build Jade... Probably your best bet is to get Aya. 
I just don't think that deck really works without Aya. There's some like variants of Big Druid that that can run Jade pretty well without having Aya. But if you're like trying to flat out run Jade Druid, you kind of need. A oh, this is interesting. That was gold too. Uh, I should have played that. Right, we're going to double one drop since we did that. I wanted to play the Flame Imp, coin out Darkshire, and then play Tar Creeper, but... I think that would have been a better play. That's okay. Alright, we have two spell breakers, so we can stop some Death Rattle. That's good. Uh, Death Rattle Priest, the the deck that hero powers for the first six turns of a game. I'd like to pull some cheap drops. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so that guy gets silenced. For sure. Um... We probably silenced that too. Actually, we for sure silenced that too. Uh, let's see. <laughs> to the face. We veen. <laughs> Fungal Mancer is good. <clears throat> I'm glad we put him in this deck. What we do? We played like two. Yeah, two. And we'll play a couple more. <clears throat> if we can't get it somewhat soon. We'll switch over to casual with uh, some crazy all one and two drop deck. Or as many as we can fit into a deck anyway. I don't know if we have 30 one and two drops. We may. It's a shaman. There's one. See, we, this is like, it's like a mid-rangey zoo. <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of cards in our deck that, <laughs> that aren't one and two, two mana. There's, there's a, there's quite a few one and two mana cards too. Oh, yay. I don't know... If there's a lot we can do about that start. We can force him to use his stuff. That's about it. I'd rather it go down there. I'll play that. I don't want to play Kaliseth just yet. It's actually kind of hard to find a spot to play Kaliseth. Because Serenite is just good to play on 4. We'll make that attack. So 
So then we probably are playing Fungal Mancer. Yeah, we're definitely playing Fungal Mancer. That helps. <laughs> So it's a Jade Shaman. Okay. Alright, so we'll kill that guy. We'll kill that guy. We'll kill that guy. <laughs> We'll play that guy. That looks pretty good. So we drew Kalisath. Here's the evolve combo. Yeah, it's not that scary though with our board state. Um, let's see. Let's draw. So we'll trade here, we'll trade here, and we'll clear his whole board. <laughs> we, we had to trade a lot of our board away to do that though. So I don't know how well we can handle another Doppel Evolve. And then we'll draw, we'll draw last. <laughs> draw last. So we have a six eight Doom Guard to help clear another Doppel board. Okay. That's not too bad. <clears throat> We're able to buff and trade without losing anything. So our board's building up pretty well. Devolve sucks. But that's okay. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> um, how do we want to do this? So we'll trade this guy off we will kill this we will kill this and we will kill this So now we get our Doom Guard or our Despicable Dreadlord back. Oh, he's playing Hex.
All right, so I think we can pretty well keep the board in our favor for now. Well, there's a Hadronox. I don't think Hadronox matters that much here. We have some silence that we can draw. That could be useful. Get down, kitty. You play that many taunt minions? That kind of sucks. Damage myself. Um. All right, so let's just kill. What we can here. <clears throat> you could have Bloodlust. I don't know if it's lethal. I don't th think it is, but the Wind Fury dude. <laughs> that sucks. And we didn't draw. We didn't draw our silence either, and that sucks. I am your boy. I am your master. Take <laughs> your victory. That was a good game. He's got he's got some stuff in that deck. That was impressive. Alright. Alright, I think we can I think we can get the quest finished. One more game. And then tomorrow, back at it again. But I don't have to work tomorrow, so no dealing with uh, Xboxy stuff. Like new games and such taking up my entire day. <laughs> so no work tomorrow, so I can, I can get some of these knocked out with these quests and maybe even stream some of it. So I don't... If this is Agro Paladin... All right, I'm gonna keep Tar Creeper. That kind of that's good. That sucks, but that's good. I would rather draw that closer to turn five than have it in my starting hand. But it's it's okay. Well, that's not accurate. <laughs> that that answers that question. It's definitely not Aggro Paladin. That's uh that's Malkazar. Mm-hmm. Right, so we're not drawing well. <clears throat> not drawing well at all. But, in all honesty, <clears throat> this game is more about playing four one and two drops than trying to win. Of course, I always prefer to win. Uh, we'll just play this dude. I don't want this guy. Uh, let's see. Okay. So now we know what that is. And then we have this next turn to buff the Void Lord. 
which will be nice. <clears throat> so that's probably getaway Kodo. That a quality already? Okay, so we're probably not buffing the Void Lord then. I don't know, we might. It kind of depends on what we're able to play. So let's get away, Kodo. I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> you can play however many of those he wants. You can play Dreadlord next turn. Kill it. Not too concerned about the secrets. Not right now, anyway. Right, let's do this. Do not care. <laughs> I'm much more interested in keeping control of the board. That's fine. Like, your getaway Kodos aren't doing anything for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're just giving you a bunch of hydrologists that I'm killing and taking the board while you play hydrologists and getaway Kodo. Like, it's, it's a good pick. And sometimes it's good to hit Hydrologist with it. Usually it is not. Um. Draw last. We're gonna do this. I'm kind of being greedy <laughs> with Crystal Weaver. But I wanted to get at least one more demon out there. That belongs in a museum. All right, we should we should have this locked down. <laughs> I don't think we played enough one and two drops though. <laughs> Like, we're winning games, but we're not playing our one and two drops. This is taking forever to get this quest. Yeah, we played one. Alright, we'll, we'll do one more. Hopefully we can get three one or two drops played. That's crazy. Like, we, we win, but 
we're not we're not getting the early drops that we need to get for the quest. I honestly didn't think it would take or this video would be this long to get the quest done uh, in a zoo deck. <clears throat> All right, we'll go for early game. We kind of all right, there's the three that we need. Right there. We've got it. Um, I would prefer to go Firefly first because I don't want coin hero power to be able to clear. And then I can go two drop, two drop. So we'll draw for or one drop, one drop. Draw first. Let me play this dude. Okay. That's interesting. We'll ramp for him. I wanna I would rather keep my Tar Creeper healthy. Alright, so this time we'll trade and then we'll heal. That's a little bit of ramp though, that's a little concerning. I don't think we got off to a quite fast enough start. So like, Swap will take two here, but it's not that good. But then he also has hero power, and that kind of sucks. So I'll have the one minion left. But if he doesn't have Swipe, then we Fungal Mancer next turn. Okay, that I can deal with. Alright, so Fungal Mancer comes down for sure. And then we start putting on the pressure. Because now Swipe doesn't do anything. Now I'm probably gonna be doing another fungal mantle mancer mantle <laughs> another fungal mancer next turn. That's interesting. Okay. Um Alright, let's see what happens here. Because I think we're able to put on enough pressure to where ultimate infestation just doesn't do anything. Like he's not, he's not able to play it. That does a little bit of work, but not enough. That's a card. <laughs> Uh, we still can clear. Mm. 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was interesting. Molten Giant. In 2018. Before the change. We got a Cobalt and Catacombs pack. Alright. And we got some gold. Let's open this pack up and see what we have. Hopefully we got something cool. Probably not. I think we just opened a legendary recently. Yeah, not really anything. <laughs> it's so disappointing opening one pack at a time. Wow, that, that was delayed. So what was it? Gravel Snout? Is that the one we got that we didn't already have? Yeah. Um, so that guy will probably be dusted. But as like I was saying before, I don't want to dust cards until we know exactly what we want to do with them. And I mean, there's a couple spots I think we can work with in the zoo deck, but... Right now, I'm okay with where it's at. I'm still testing Blood Fury versus Fungal Enchanter, and I, I think Fungal Enchanter is maybe better, but um, I don't know if it's better to replace something with another Firefly or not, because Firefly is pretty good with Keliseth. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think we could change uh, maybe a Spellbreaker for a Serenite, but right now, I think two Spellbreakers is really strong, uh, re especially with Keliseth when they become 5-4s. So I kind of want to keep that for now. So yeah, it's going well. And we got that quest done. I have to find friends <laughs> sometime in the next day or two because uh, I don't want to get rid of this one because it's 80 gold. And then we got the, the, the elusive double pack quest. So... <laughs> That's what we'll be working on over the next couple days. But that's going to be it for now. And uh, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, hit the subscribe button. Comment below. Hit the bell button if you really want to see the videos. But uh, thanks for hanging out. And I will see you guys next time.